And I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately. Hey, what's going on gamers? It's Max again. And uh, happy late, late Monday. I'm sorry I'm getting this uh, this video out to you guys so, uh, so late in the day, but I've been really busy trying to uh, get some more video work for you guys done. And while doing that, I for almost forgot to do Monday's video. So, uh, um, I'll, I'll get back to, uh, I'll get back to what I'm doing in a minute, but let's go ahead and get into the, uh, let's go ahead and get into the subject. Now, this subject might kind of hit a nerve with some of you and it's fine because that's what this, that's what this video is going to be about really. And, uh, well, I just want to ask you guys, where do you draw the line? Where does, where does it, uh, where does it stop for you? Because there are some people out there who are, on one hand, might be, uh, might, you know, be okay with like games like Mortal Kombat, but they might not be okay with games like Bioshock. Uh, allow me to elaborate. Uh, earlier last week, uh, Review Tech USA did a um, commentary on an article that he read about a, a person who was offended by a, a Bioshock Infinite. There's a scene in the game where you, in order to enter Columbia, you have to um, be baptized in their religion. And uh, one of the uh, one of the players, he couldn't do it. He felt very offended by it, and he asked for a full refund. He stated his case with Steam, and Steam went ahead and uh, gave him a full refund. Now, um, Rich mentioned that you know that the guy might be a, a hypocrite. He might be calling him a hypocrite because here he is playing this game that has plenty of violence in it. You could see through the through the commercials, through the trailers, that this game was going to be a first-person shooter and most, if not all, first-person shooters have a level of violence in them that might not be tolerable for all. My answer to that is, you know, people are weird like that, you know? I, I kind of understand where the dude was coming from because logic goes out the window when it comes to our feelings. Here's another example. Now, I love Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 is one of my favorite games of this generation. And uh, in the game, you have to do a lot of hunting. I have a fun time actually doing the hunting. I think it's hilarious when I'm throwing C4 at bears or I'm using a, I'm using like a, an RPG on a, on a tiger and, you know, using the, using the huge minigun on like, on like a Komodo dragons. But for some reason, I can't bring myself to hurt the dogs in the game. Um, like I, I hit one and then I hear it whimper and I'm like, Oh, what did I do? Every year I, um, uh, it's hard to see in my bracelet here, but every year I, I uh, participate in a uh, in a walk for animals, and it's for um, it's hosted by the San Diego Humane Society. So with all that said, I'm a, I love dogs. I'm a huge fan of dogs. They really gave I, I it really um, it really filled a hole in my heart that that other things just couldn't do, you know. So I bringing myself to hurt a dog, kind of. I just feel real bad about it, you know? And do I still play? Yeah, I still play, but the funny thing is I most of the deaths are because uh, because I can't bring myself to hurt the dog that I try to run away and I can't get away and like two or three dogs end up killing me. And I usually don't, I usually feel kind of, uh, I usually like feel like weird, like twisted, like, okay, I can, I have no problem, uh, um, you know, blowing up, blowing up other animals, or other, uh, other creatures, but I can't kill the dog. <laughs> it's just weird. You know, people's, people's feelings are, are like that, you know, as people, you know, I, we really need to start being more tolerant of others, even though their feelings don't make sense. But that's the point, I guess. Feelings kind of defies logic and we just need to really be tolerant. And if we can't be tolerant of that, I don't think we can really move forward. Where do you draw the line when it comes to video games? And I'm pretty sure there's got to be, there's always something that, that you, that yourself out there, well, you're watching this video right now and you're saying, you know, there's a one part in Robocop versus Terminator where you have to shoot these girls and I don't believe in hurting women, you know? But I have no trouble, I have no trouble beating the shit out of Chun-Li on Street Fighter. What the hell is wrong with me? I got news for you, man. There is nothing wrong with you. It's just, the way you feel sometimes again feelings just get in the way of logic and it's not there's nothing you can do about it except 
you know, you got to cope with it in your own way. And we as other, we as individuals, we need to learn to, to respect your decision, you know. And that's what it is. I think that's what it all boils down to. In the very end, it's respect. Whew. Okay. So uh, that's the, uh, so that's this rant here. Again, sorry for getting this out so late, but uh, uh, I had a lot going, I have a lot going on right now. I'm actually playing some Army of Two. Got the game in, been playing it. Have some mixed feelings about it. So get ready for a really, really uh, in-depth review. Probably the most in-depth review I'm, I'm probably going to give because I really, it, game whether a game's good or bad, or if it's really bad, I need to I need to let you guys know why, and I need you I need to let you guys know why in detail. Um, now um, I'm going to show this picture here. This is a this is my uh, character. I actually created him a long time ago. His name's Straight Edge Usagi. So a little Straight Edge. What's going on? <laughs> anyway, I got him I got him here posed as uh, Booker Dewitt from Bioshock Infinite. This was supposed to be the title card for the. Uh, for the review or the uh, in my opinion of Bioshock if it wasn't able to get all the colors down on t in time and uh, I didn't want it to be a flat I didn't want the colors to be all flat I wanted to have a little bit of you know some depth to it so give me a little time for that once it's done I'll have it I'll have the image posted on Facebook and it'll be done on um, I'll have the uh, I'll have some t-shirts for sale on uh, spreadshirt.com slash straight edge gamer I do plan to post half or not 75% of all proceeds will go to San Diego Humane Society so I, I hope you guys uh, hope you guys you know help me out or help out uh, help out some animals there um, I got some uh, mail here and this is from uh, games of futures past this guy's kind of a new youtuber if he had a channel before I don't know about it but this guy did a really really good review on Bioshock Infinite this is a, a comment posted on my hackers and modders in my opinion I think you have a lot of valid points. Hackers whose only intent is to get games for free definitely hurt the community when publishers have to force restrictions such as DRM and whatnot. For me as a gamer, there is almost no incentive to obtaining games early, legally. When services like Steam, PSN, and Xbox Live make it so easy to download games and frequently have sales where you can get the games dirt cheap, I guess it all boils down to how you view video games as a medium and yeah that's that's true uh, as I mentioned as I mentioned in my as I mentioned in my uh, uh, commentary you know modders and hackers is kind of like a double-edged sword when it comes to games they uh, you know when they hack older systems and whatnot I'm, I'm totally for that I think those really help enhance the, the console but those same hackers and modders they'll go ahead and they'll hack like Xbox Live and or try to get the games for free or whatnot and to me that's kind of you're, you're really taking out of the pockets of of the developers and publishers the hackers need to really you know yes you can do it and that's great that you want to show your chops and whatnot but I'd say do something more constructive and you know something that could really make you money because getting all this free stuff you know all it does is get you free stuff then but it gives everybody else you know all these online DRM stuff and that's not helping anybody. You're actually hurting us. So. If you guys have comments for this video, please post them. Um, post them as soon as possible. That way tomorrow or at least Wednesday I can go ahead and uh, do a follow-up video for this. Also, um, also be on the lookout for uh, a playthrough of Terminator 3 Redemption. So until next time gamers, stay true, stay you.